I think we've got everything. We've got presents. This bag has been crumpled up in my wardrobe for the last few weeks. We've got wrapping paper. It's that time of year again. It's time to wrap some presents and show you. So I'm going to show you everything we've bought Delilah. I'm not usually one for novelty mugs. I, I saw this one in anthropology. I really liked it. I've actually got iced coffee in it because I still can't break the habit of iced coffee. Whenever it gets to the afternoon, I don't want hot coffee, I want cold coffee. <laughs> but it feels very strange having iced coffee in December. I don't have any of Doug's presents yet to show you. I'm thinking I'll show you those um, in another Vlogmas. I do have my grandma's, which I'll wrap if I've got time. As I always say, if you're watching this with younger children, you might want to save this for later because I'll be talking about secret Father Christmas Santa stuff. I don't know whether to start with stocking or presents. For anyone new to the channel, maybe this is the first video of mine you're watching. We do a stocking from Father Christmas and then the presents under the tree are from us. Everyone does it a bit differently, don't they? But that's how we do it. I'll start with the stocking. We've got Delilah's present from her to Doug. There's some Christmassy pyjama bottoms that she picked out from um, m and I'll, um, I'll let her wrap those later. Um, in here, we have some bits that I ordered from Berry Loon. I recently mentioned them in our, when we put our Christmas tree up in that vlog. And I ordered some bits from them. They wrapped them in these paper bags. So I'm just going to redo the seal makes sense to reuse them but also i think it kind of i think they're quite sweet i think they're quite christmasy i look like they've come from santa's workshop first thing is this mini motif punch um i thought delilah would love this you can get lots of different shapes and i got her a snowflake because i thought it was very fitting for this time of year the next thing is this kazoo very loon do lots of kind of retro toys i got her a hey, pez I decided to go for the snowman one. Who remembers these? I remember having one of these. I, I, I think I bought one back from Disney. I was obsessed with mine and I thought Delilah would really love that. Me being me, I thought this would be half the size. Half the time I order stuff and I think it's going to be smaller or bigger than it is. This is a magic rainbow scratch art paper. I've checked and it does actually fit in her stocking just. So you use this pen to scratch at the paper and you can make and you can make pictures with it. I don't know what made me buy this because I actually hate this stuff. She will draw pictures, but then sometimes she just scratches it and you end up with this black, like with black stuff everywhere. But yeah, but I knew she'd like that. Found these cute Merry Merry hair ties. I've got pom-poms on them. Just thought they were festive. Whilst we're on the topic of stocking, she has asked for her stocking to be in her bedroom this year. For however many Christmases, well, it's like five, past five Christmases she's had her stocking in the living room and actually the last couple of years she's said she wants it to be in here because she doesn't like the idea of Father Christmas coming into her bedroom which I was exactly the same as a kid. I mean I know he's Father Christmas but he's also a stranger. You don't want a strange man coming into your bedroom in the middle of the night. But this year she's asked for it to be at the end of her bed. I know it'll probably be fine. I'm slightly nervous I'm going to wake her up. I've got her a candy cane bubble bar from Lush, Snow Fairy body wash, some chocolate coins, always put um, a pack of these at the bottom of her stocking. Usually I just find these in the supermarket um, but I saw these on Berry Loon when I was um, shopping for these bits. I thought I might as well get these ones. I don't know if you can see they've got different pictures on them. And then last couple of items have Oh, this is cute. I tried this out the other day. This is a wind up ladybird. Where can I show you? So you wind it up. Ooh. It flips. <laughs> and it spins. Oh, oh. How cute is that? And again, this was twice the size I thought it was going to be. A final item are these cards too many monsters i think it's very similar to snap comes in this really um comes in this really nice tin i'm gonna save wrapping these for another day not that there's really much to wrap but um i'm gonna wrap these another day because i can put those back away in hiding and wrap those in front of the telly one day but everything else that's going under the tree i want to try and wrap today i'm wishing i'd got everything out of the boxes first i've just realized i've ordered the french mousetrap 
not that I think it matters. She's at that age now where she can start to get proper proper games like this and board games that we can all play as a family. We have another couple of games in here. We've got Monopoly Junior, which says it's five plus. I have no idea how you play this one. It's obviously a very simplified version. But again, something great for us to play, well, whatever time of year, but um, also during the Christmas holidays. That's the kind of thing that we can take around to Doug's parents on Christmas day. We can all play together and Delilah can really get involved. And then I found these walkie talkies which I think she will, I'm, just, I'm gonna say this about every present, I thought she'd love it, that's why I got it. I remember having these really naff Barbie walkie talkies. I don't even, I don't think they even worked. I didn't see, but they've got games that you can play. Oh, and all sorts of things you can do on them. And they work within a 200 meter range. She's going to have a lot of fun with those, I think. And um, go camping and go on holidays and things. Um, I also think she would love to take those. Picked her up one of these colour change Barbies. The Barbie is painted, I think pink, but then you put water in here and you dunk her. All the paint comes off to reveal the Barbie. And then it has in those bags there, all her accessories. She's obsessed with these. I also thought this was going to be half the size. I don't know why. It makes sense that it's in a big box because there's so much in here. Forgot to say, I will link absolutely everything that I can possibly link, be it wrapping paper, presents, anything I can link, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll say it once now so I don't repeat myself. Delilah loves colouring and arts and crafts. A lot of her pens have started to run out and I saw this big box of Crayola Silly Scents. She's had some scented pens before which she loved and um, I remember having scented gel pens. I had a massive pencil case of smelly gel pens. It's just it's just a novelty of them, isn't it? This one has colouring pens and pencils and it comes with a colouring book. Oh yeah, all the pens are washable. That's why I like the Crayola stuff because um, I know that she can get them on her clothes and they'll wash out. A long theme of arts and crafts. I wanted to find her some stamps. These are unicorn stamps and um, they've got different unicorns So they've also got um, like trees and rainbows and um, other, other stamps. We have seen this on so many adverts. They're called present pets. You pull something and then they unbox themselves and then you have this um, interactive puppy. I've had a couple of you say you're excited to see what um, I bought for Delilah's mouse house this year. This is Delilah's Malag, I never know if I'm saying that right, Malag doll's house. Let me show you it properly. I won't give you a full on tour because most of you have seen it. This is her doll's house that she has. I will see if I can find a link for it. Every birthday and Christmas, we buy her a few, a few more bits for her mouse house. I think after this Christmas, I don't think there'll be much more for us to buy for the house. I think, um, I think it would be really cool to try and get some um, actual electrics run through so she can have lights and it might be nice to make some curtains to put on the windows back in the summer i ordered her some of the um some of the camping stuff so she's got a camper mouse how cute is she got a bandana on and her sleeping bag and then in here we have a tent let me put you there it's hard to show you here but there's um as a tent but wait wait for it there's a lamp and it turns on there's a hook here where the lamp can be hung just when i thought this um this stuff can get any cuter i can't remember who i ordered this from oh here it is cc and seb i ordered some bits more recently from them they wrapped them up so beautifully these are malik I'm really sorry if I'm saying, that, saying it wrong. Um, Malik bags that you can purchase. But they've wrapped all the items up beautifully in this without without me even paying for gift wrapping. So I'm going to keep everything in here, tape it back up and um, put it under the tree how it is. These are quite hard to get hold of. They're, they're always going in and, out, in and out of stock. But this is one of the, the fairy mice. And um, it's got a velvet body and wings i got this and she really doesn't need it but um how sweet is this bunny i just thought they might want a bunny friend same with all the mice you can get rabbits instead and then what else oh yes so for the kitchen this is a bread tin with a chopping board a mini knife and then inside there's bread so then i also found a toaster which has let me show you I'm guessing it's going to be very similar to what's in the bread bin. Mini 
pieces of toast. The older Delilah gets, the more she loves this stuff and I'm so glad because <laughs> I love it too. And I love that so many of you were looking forward to seeing what other cute bits she got for her house. Last thing, um, I, I, I know I mentioned in a previous vlog that I wanted to find her some kind of makeup set. I found this in Claire's. It's a uh, Disney princess set and so some little lip glosses and um, some eyeshadows and things. Hit that age where she wants to play dress up and play with makeup and um, I <laughs> I don't have any decent, I don't have any makeup for her to play with because I just wear foundation and mascara and blush. Like I don't have any eyeshadows and lipsticks for her to play with. Nothing new here in terms of wrapping. I've got more than enough wrapping paper here. I've got my box of trees. I've got some pink ones this year. Um, so I just think they're quite nice to decorate presents with, like smaller presents. It's nice to pop one on top. Also got a big bag of ribbons and um we've got some dried oranges here and uh, something new i wanted to try this year is um use these i'm completely copying some wrapping that i saw in anthropology where they had mini wreaths wrapped around gifts i just thought it was really sweet so i found these on i think hobbycraft sell them i found them on amazon tried to find some burgundy velvet ribbon and um, but i couldn't find any because I, I would have preferred that um, and I would have taken these bows off and swapped them. So we're going to give those a go. I found this from Anthropology. I thought Delilah would really like it. Like I said, I would try and link whatever wrapping paper I can link. I'm, I'm just going to do what I do every year. I don't have a particular plan. I'm just going to start wrapping and it usually, usually works out well. I loved using this. Oh, oh. The bag is slowly breaking more and more. I loved this wrapping paper last year. Every year I say to myself, I'm gonna make sure I have nothing else to do and just focus on wrapping. Of course, I had some things that I needed to get done this morning. We're running out of time again, <laughs> so I'm just gonna see what I can get done. Christmas playlist is on. I'm hoping you don't fall off my very old, very wonky tripod. I'm thinking for the first one, I'm always very overwhelmed when I start wrapping, because I never know where to begin. I have this nutcracker paper left over from last year, so I think I'll go with this one first. Hey, perfect size. I've got these ribbons as well that I found from Anthropology. I like that they come on these um, bobbins or spools or what do you call them? Like big, bo big bobbins, because I can reuse these to organize all my other ribbons, which are all really tangled up. I've already managed to lose the tape, I don't really know where I've put it. No! It's here! It's Christmas for you and me. The fire is stoked and the stockings are hung. It's Christmas and the night is young. Santa brought me up. nutcracker stuff so all, all i really have is this harlequin wrapping paper this um i found this star one which i've had for ages i did use i used this party dog paper on her wrapping last year as well everything else is a little grown up apart from also 
got this wrapping paper with reindeer and elves on. I realised this year I should probably use a separate wrapping paper for her stocking. In previous years it didn't matter but I think now she would twig that um, I've used the same paper. I'd have to say Doug's probably neater than me when it comes to wrapping. I don't have the patience. I get frustrated. I'm either going to spend too much time on trying to do it perfectly or I just want to do it, get it done quickly. And actually, like, I love picking out different ribbons and and papers. But when it comes to actually wrapping, I'm not very neat at all. Just don't look at the size. Now, do I want to put a ribbon on this one? You know what, I have some gingham ribbon. I don't know where the gingham ribbon's, ribbon's gone because that was lovely on um, brown paper. Tip for cutting ribbons. Get yourself a pair of these. I don't, I don't know what they're called. I have these in my sewing box along with a bigger pair of fabric cutting scissors. These are usually for um, cutting threads when you're sewing, but they're also great for cutting ribbon. If you've ever tried to cut a ribbon with a, a standard kind of blunt pair of scissors, you don't get a very nice clean cut. Whereas if you use these, you can get a really, can you see? Hello? Clean line. My fabric scissors would probably be easier actually because they're because these are slightly slightly small. Okay so far we have this big one with the dusky dusky pink velvet ribbon and then we've got the nutcracker paper more harlequin paper and then um I've done some of this tinselly yeah tinsel ribbon um with some bells. I've got about half an hour to wrap the rest so I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on and get this stuff wrapped. The only problem with buying sheets is that um, you couldn't use this to wrap that, that wouldn't be enough. But I think there's enough of this sausage dog party, party dog paper, so I think I'm going to use that. to wrap everything before um, needing to go get her from school. I thought the red velvet ribbon that I got from Anthropology. I thought this would go nicely with this wrapping paper. This paper, did I get this from Paper Chase? I think I got it from Paper Chase. I feel like it's a good all-rounder for all ages. So I have um, wrapped a couple of her presents in this one. Before I forget, I'm gonna put her stocking bits back upstairs. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this paper to wrap the couple of bits that do need wrapping so I'm gonna I'm gonna hide that and put these upstairs I'm gonna get the presents under the tree I'll attempt to have a bit of a tidy up before I need to go and then a bit later on I'll wrap my grandma's presents with you I wonder how long it would take Delilah to realize there's presents under the tree and pop this big one back here With the Barbie present, I turned it into a cracker. There's not quite enough paper, so there's, 
really no there's a really stubby bit on one end and this paper is quite thick but I've um there was no there was no way I was going to stick those down so I just thought yeah I thought I'd make a cracker and luckily Delilah's five and she's not gonna care there's not much room underneath this tree we've got a really low one this year I've done my best to fit them underneath I added the oranges that I said I was going to add the other day to um this wreath I found some wire and I just um poked them in and uh, yeah I think it look I think it looks much nicer with the um pop of colour. We got more Christmas cards. One more Look. Super shiny. Did you get that in your card? That bag is broken on my She's having a nose here. All the wrapping stuff. Have you spotted something? Yeah, I wonder who those are for. Me. You? <laughs> I guess that. Are you sure? Sure. No, it will be for me. <laughs> you said it's for me. <laughs> what is this one? It's a surprise. Hmm. I hear something. <laughs> what could it be? I just had a very confused couple of minutes because i've just had this delivered i thought i'm not expecting anything i remember a while ago i mean we're talking i think when we first moved in here so what would that would have that would have been end of 2018 and book subscription and um, they're called books that matter completely wasn't expecting this but they've just sent me not one but two things so in this bag i have some books i think if you were subscribed this is what you would get Ooh. I have one of I have one of these already. This is a dry body oil. I have a hot chocolate stick. And then we have a couple of books. Um, I'll leave a link to them in the description. Thank you for this um, nice surprise. The Reader, the magazine of the reading revolution. Oh, so this is cool. So this is like um, so this is like a, a mini, a mini magazine. Then we have the the Dud Avocado by Elaine Dundee. Oh. Some chocolate this is another magazine i feel like they've given me two months worth of subscriptions i don't this is so nice of them the girl without the loud in voice and the last one is how much of these hills is gold thank you so much if you're watching this and you sent these out thank you delilah did ask if she could help me wrap some presents so um, i'm gonna see if she wants to wrap doug's present which wrapping paper do you want to use do you want to wrap it in here or? In here. Okay. I've picked that kind of wrapping paper that string Two that. ribbons? Yeah. Okay, and a, and a green. Wrap Daddy's present. It's getting dark in here. Let's turn the light up a bit more. The problem is the, the light in here is never that bright. Anyway, I'll just turn it off. Oh, I'll be your assistant. Is there anything you want me to do? Do you want me to fold them up for you? Yeah. No, I no. can do the folding up. Okay, everything. okay. I can just maybe cut the paper for you. Yeah, yeah. okay. Good job. Oh, good job. Tape. Oh, tape, tape. Does that look good? Robot. That's a very good robot. I'm not very good at the robot. What's the plan for this pop pop? I, I think I want to do this one first. And you want the. Where do you want the wreath? Oh, yeah, you thread it through. I really like that you've done two different types of ribbon. Mm. It's very creative. And then you want me to do a bow? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not much threat, um, not much ribbon. I'm trying my best. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Put it under the tree. I'm gonna put it right. Put it right at the front. Do you want to help me wrap Grandma's present? Yeah. Yeah. She did ask for some new photos to have in her flat. 
of Delilah. And um, I've bought her so many photo frames over the years that I thought I would just get some more photos printed and then she can swap them out. Otherwise she's gonna have more photo frames than she knows what to do with. The other two presents I'll, um, I'll keep quiet so I don't spoil it for her. Because I know, I'll, I'll tell her not to watch this video and, and she'll watch it still. I have these envelopes that um, I've had for just hanging around in my office. I've got lots of different sizes. And I thought these would be perfect to stick the photos into. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? No one to see. Yeah, I've got, I have, I have even smaller ones than these, but yeah, I thought these would be perfect for the photos. And, um, and I can just pop, stick a no ribbon around them. I don't know what this little mm. sausage is doing. Hello. <laughs> Nipped upstairs to grab my book, my book that I've barely had any time to read this month. I mentioned this book a couple of weeks ago now. I, it, in some vlog, I know I've mentioned it in a vlog, um, but if you didn't watch that one, um, this is Betty. I'm really enjoying it, I'm just reading it very slowly. And I am back in my sleepy doe pyjamas. I have lived in them since um, I got them at the weekend. Funny story of, well, not a particularly funny story, but um, I, um, I actually bought this jumper because I saw it on the sleepy doe Instagram. Um, one of their models had this on with their ski, their snow, I don't know what the print's called. They've got like a snowy scene with skiers on. The model was wearing those with this jumper. And I messaged and asked, where's that jumper from? I love it. And they said it was toast. And I thought, of course it's toast. Toast do so many nice jumpers. Um, and that's the story behind getting this jumper. Violin. Violin, well done. A top. Delilah's having her dinner while she talks to my mum. Do some bits around the house, putting the clean washing away. Hiya. Doug's just got back from work. I'm gonna get some dinner on. I'm so hungry. I thought we'd make some dinner together because I feel like I've not made any meals, like properly made some meals together for a while. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make. Really fancied having roasted beetroot and parsnips. So I thought we'd use up this last carrot we have, roast it with parsnip, beetroot, Potatoes. I'm not too sure whether to do roast potatoes or mashed potato. I've also got some spinach to chuck in and we've got some salmon. <laughs> we only have salmon about once a week, but last time I, actually it was this time last week we had salmon. <laughs> I'm not too sure what I'm going to put on the veggies. I might just keep them quite plain. Oh, these, these front bits of hair have grown so much since I had them cut. They're almost a bit too long to have down. Okay, we need, this just look at this just looks silly. If I put these into my bun, they do eventually fall out. Behind my ears, they just look really silly. I don't know what to do with my hair. I remembered earlier, we'll have another Sex in the City to watch. Everything, like when we watch stuff on Apple TV, it always gets released on a Friday. So in my head, I was waiting for Friday, um, but it's not Apple TV, so it's, it's out on Thursday. Last day at school for Delilah tomorrow. Um, that's a real good chopping. I need to find a, um, a sharpener for our nice because they're going a little bit blunt now. I'm gonna see if Doug has a preference on potato. Do you want mashed potato or do you want roast potato? Yeah. Roast it is. I always do this, think I can fit everything, including potatoes, in one tray, but these are quite small trays. I've, um, I've popped the potatoes in that own one. I'm gonna get those in now, because they'll take the longest. It almost made my water come out of my mouth. And for the veg, I'm just gonna do the same. I'm just gonna do salt and pepper. Oh. I put you on top of the pepper. I should have added the beetroot in last <laughs> because now everything's going to be very pink. Feet 
up there. Just stuck some vlogmas on whilst dinner cooks and I have finished wrapping my grandma's presents. We have, this paper was from Anthropology. I've, I've tied this wreath onto it. And I've just done this one. I've used this mistletoe paper for years. I love this mistletoe paper. And yeah, I've just tied that together with the envelope and the ribbon. I was hoping our dinner would be done by now, but it's taken a bit longer. I feel like I, I now can't ignore this mess. I should probably tidy it up. ended up adding some paprika and balsamic to the veggies um, left the salmon plain although I might put some of that teriyaki stuff on we'll see and we've got mayonnaise oh it's really nice to have presents under the tree now I always get really sad after Christmas day when all the presents have gone and the tree looks all bare I think this is probably Delilah's first ever present she has completely wrapped um, herself minus <laughs> minus the help from me cutting tape and um, doing the bow. It's so sweet. I mean, she's always loved giving gifts. Um, this is this is her first year where she's really picking them out and wrapping them herself. Every morning when she um, comes down to her advent, she goes, Mummy, it's not long till Christmas and your birthday. She's very excited about my birthday, bless her. Anyway, we are, um, I have paused Vlogmas because we are now uh, going to watch Sex and the City. I've tidied up most of the wrapping paper, but we still, <laughs> Still have a few few things down here to tidy up but um, I'm I'm ignoring those for now we've finished watching sex in the city I might finish watching the uh, the vlog I was watching it earlier or the last couple of days we've been watching who do you think you are not quite ready to go to bed yet I think we're gonna have an ice cream and um, watch something for 20 minutes and then go to bed so much dry skin on my forehead and my nose at the moment. I can like visibly see it when I've got my makeup on. I don't really, I think it's probably just the dry weather, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna use some of this Pixie Glow Tonic because um, I find that it helps to exfoliate. I can't believe we are almost at the end of Vlogmas. I hope you've all been enjoying them. I love reading your comments. I keep meaning to re reply that the last couple of vlogs have gone live and then I've been sort of busy doing other stuff and yeah I, I don't like it when I can't reply I'll save doing my second cleanse um, for when I come up to bed in a bit this poor plant look at it it is not happy it needs to be repotted I've seen better days and also it has my camera shoved in it every few days <laughs> when I'm vlogging it's a good spot to put my camera poor thing is uh, not looking its best I am going to get myself an ice cream. I'm going to get myself and Doug an ice cream. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, phew. <laughs> I had to make room for our all plants delivery the other day. So I took the box out and I shoved the ice creams on top of the fish fingers. Thought we were going to have to fight over it. Which one are we going to go for? Who have we got? We watched there. Uh, we, we watched... Joe Suggs the other day and Josh Widdicombe's yesterday. Gone for Greg Davies. Davies? 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 Davies. Davies. Greg Davies. So that's going to be us for the evening. I hope you enjoyed another wrap with me. I don't know. I, this must be like year five or six. I don't know. I'm going to go now and um, I'll see you in the next vlog. Goodbye.